Okay, so, so far I've got... I can craft 9 mil bullets. I can craft shotgun shells. Um, I can't craft 7.62 ammo yet. I had to get my gunsmithing perk up to level 3. So I've used up pretty much all, all of my points. Ah, fuck. Guys, help me please. Yeah, we're we're good. We got gotcha. you. Small horde. Jared and I are doing the uh, double trouble. It sounds like the name of a porno, but, you know. Who's the lucky bride? You could just call me Officer Nasty. So, um, with that platform, yeah, I guess I could keep working on it. We got a good supply of iron coming now. We gotta chop up the bodies, guys. We don't just search and chop up the bodies. Or not chop up the bodies. Read up. Bardish. What? You were searching, but you weren't chopping. Yes, I was. I was just also oh. running over here. Your cooking grill's done. I'll throw it on the fire for you, Rita. Nice. Yeah, but try to remember to chop the bodies up because they do lure zombies. Mm -hmm. Supposedly. Uh, um. Oh, right. There's stuff cooking. Okay, I'm just leaving the cooking grill and the output for you, Rita. Okay. So you can go ahead and throw it on yourself when you're back at the campfire. Did you forge your one? Yeah, we forged one on the forge. Yeah, right on. Yeah, man. We're getting established, slowly but surely. Oh, man. That's the crappy thing about not having a chem station. I have to use... Uh, Two nitrate powder and two coal for every one gun powder instead of one and one for one. I thought we were on our way to having a uh, camp station. No, you mentioned it, and well, I know Scooter said you usually don't get that till late. We probably won't get that for a while. Mm -hmm. It was a while before we even got one in our other game. Yeah, any bullet tips, bullet casings you guys get, throw them in the box by the forge. I'll, uh, I have not found bullet tips, up. really. Just found a whole bunch of... Um, things to make bullets, but yeah. yeah. I put a whole bunch of brass in there for you. A lot of that brass is what I found. Oh yeah, no, it's helping out a ton. I got uh, bullet tips and bullet casings crafting right now. I still gotta run back to that gas station too and get my box. Oh, you marked the trader on the map, eh, Rita? Yeah, because you guys were like, where's the trader? Yeah, I saw something, uh, I saw something pop up there when we were running out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. I have to click it in the little thing there, and then it pops up. I gotcha. All right. Never gonna hook you up. Never gonna let you down. Turn around. Desert you. Mm, Full disclosure, I, like I pulled up to Rita's place once with that blaring, and I started singing it to her. That was like when we first started dating. Yep. One of her friends said I was a keeper after she heard about that. Isn't that how that went? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> um, why is there like a slab of rock what? in the tunnel? <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. Oh, that's wood. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> I was like, did we have a cave in or something? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put up a sign, but it fell in. Yeah, it's still, still. David, you oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, here, Rita. Um, so I got... I'll just put it in the uh, middle box for you at the bottom. So 75 hunting rifle, and I've got a hunting rifle stock that I'd like to mm -hmm. attach to it, if you don't mind. Oh, yikes. Wait, hold on. Keep them at bay, David. Try not to die. I'm pretty sure there's a giant horde above me, guys. Just saying. Yeah, they're outside right now. I'll be right out, David. I'm just grabbing a gas barrel. All right. You're gonna have some fun. Make sure you tell me when you're gonna do it so I can come out and watch. Uh, we're gonna do Put it like right, right, right away, away so here. You can lure them and then. What? We're gonna do it like right away here. Just wait till they like okay, get grouped uh, around it, and then uh, we'll take a shot at it. 
Are they attracted to it, or are you just leading them there? No, you just wait till they're near it, and then you shoot it, and it blows up. Well, let me uh, let me uh, crowd them a little bit. Yeah, try to lead some hey, of wait. them over here. Oh, this bitch is gonna try and break into the base. Ouch! This isn't going as well as the first time I did this. These ones oh, over dude, here, they're like dormant. Okay, get ready to shoot. I'm just it. gonna take the shot if you want to move away. Okay, move uh, away. Hold on. Good. What the hell? Um. It's not Wait, blowing hold up. up. Hold. 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 Uh. Way to lure him back. I used a hunting rifle round last time. Uh, no point now. Oh shit, D bar. Sorry, man. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you uh, look at them there. Can I have my uh, rifle back? It's in the box. Perfect. Thanks, babe. We really got to get a second layer around this uh, wall here. I'll make a hundred frames right now. Okay. There's I'll uh. Start laying them down. Is it wide enough? Is that how? Is that wide enough for you guys for now, or what? Well, we'll probably want to expand it, especially if we're going to give Rita more room to farm, right? That'd be awesome. And, uh... There's some, uh... 9 mil ammo for you guys. Oh, for fuck's sakes, David. For fuck's sakes, you little bastard. <laughs> what? Well, he's fucking planting trees around the other side of the base. <laughs> well, in one... On the brighter, on the bright side, you don't have to go far for wood. Well, it's gonna, it, it actually, your shenanigans this time are gonna cause us problems because it, I can't, like, cut it down right now. <laughs> Why can't you cut it down? Yeah, I, I had to chop a hole in the, in the earth. Is what I had to do. <laughs> Look what you made him do, David. He had to chop a hole in the earth. They better be spruce trees, that's all I can say, because all it's gonna be is just a bitch to take down. <gasps> yeah, it's a little of this and a little of that. What does everybody have for leg armor right now? Cloth. We can probably do a little I've got bit nothing. Better. What do you guys have for uh, leg armor right now? I have nothing. Got jack shit, eh? What about you, David? I have nothing. Okay, I'm gonna make some uh, scrap leg armor for everybody. Oh, I guess you are doing armor. I just gotta come up and see what we got for leather up here. A little disorganized here. Sorry, I just had them in my inventory because I thought I was doing the armor. No, I'm doing the armor. You're doing the weapons. I'm doing tools and tools and armor and ammunition. I got a bit of murky water. I know I have bones available. Okay. Cuz I'm going to I'm just going to be using up a lot of a lot of my duct tape to make these uh, scrap leg armors. If you're going to make or if I'm going to be making a duct tape, I'm going to need you to use that broken glass and make me some more jars. Yeah, I can do that. We've actually got quite a bit of glass in the forge already, I think. So I can go ahead and do that right now, actually. I can make you glass jars. Uh, do you want as many as I can make? As many as you can make. Okay, I got 23 on the way. Sweet. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Put a fucking sign up on the church. It's the house of God, son. Not no fucking <laughs> I figure we can close the gap between the fort and the church. And then kind of just make them like all one big base, I guess. I mean, we've got the tunnel connecting the two as well, right? So they're already kind of connected anyway. I figure Rita could also benefit from using um, some of the grassy area over by the uh, church to, to farm as well. Mm -hmm. I'm actually somewhat concerned about the possibility of zombies respawning in the graves because when we first came to clear that out, we were peeking into the open graves to see if there was things in the coffins. Yeah, and that's true, but I, I wasn't talking specifically, like, in the cemetery. I just mean, like, near the cemetery. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So you want to, what you're saying just now is that you want to combine the two, right? Yeah, if we're looking to do that more long term, why not, right? Because we're already, we were already talking about expanding the fort, so why not expand it towards the church and just make them one and the same? I mean, we are, it's already a huge building that's pretty well built for us, so... Mm. I mean, if we decide it's not a good, if we decide it's not a viable long-term solution, we can always just abandon it or break it down or whatever, but just a thought. Just throwing ideas out there. Get your wood out. There you go. I want to see your wood. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, all right. Scrap leg armors in the forge box. Some ammo. Reed, are you able to make me some more duct tape? I'm working on it. I was out getting some more murky water. Okay, perfect. So I'll, uh, I'll make us some more armor. I've got the leather chest schematic, so I can make us uh, leather chest armor. Oh, yes. Cornbread yes, in my mouth. have a double wall. Oh, yeah, that too. Uh, sorry, I was... I'm pigging out hey. on food right now. Oh, yes. What are you eating? Because I want some. Cornbread. Cornbread. Your mother. I mean, cornbread and... What did you... The, yeah, what did you eat, eat, Pearson? What? How much did you eat? That was I for everybody. I ate one piece of cornbread and one bacon and eggs. Why is there only two cornbread left? Because there were only three in there to begin with, I think. There's... Yeah, there's two pieces of cornbread, but there's no bacon and eggs. I need to get my health up, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here, I'll give you this mine. Is, this is how I got kicked out of base. There, there, I give you my base. Eat all base. the food stuffs. Oh, much appreciated, thank you. And I'll have some cornbread. Wandering zombie, all by her lonesome. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> We're still burning, like, a shit ton of iron. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Screamer, Screamer. Shit, I hear a Screamer. How much duct tape do you need now? As much as you can make. Okay. I need it for a lot of things. Doctor, doctor. Sound like a chipmunk. Alright, I'm gonna go get that box that, uh, I left out at that gas station. I better make some friggin' space. You made a box at the gas station? Is that what you said? I had a whole bunch of shit that, um... I, I had a whole bunch of shit that, uh... I couldn't carry, so I just left it there. And I'm just gonna go out and get it now. So I'm just dropping a bunch of stuff off here, and then, uh... Go grab that. 18 9 mil. Protect your legs and your ball sack. Unless you read them, then just protect your legs. So what what are we doing? What what's going to be the primary thing? Because I I don't know where I should store stuff in the church or over here or what. <laughs> and don't worry about it too much for now. Part do, of my job is running back and forth between the boxes that are unlocked and sorting things. Do we maybe want to start coming up with a storage system? Like we could make uh, an additional room, and that could be where we store stuff and we just organize it, just so. We're pooling our resources together. Well, we already do, and in certain circumstances, like I give Rita my food and stuff. Yeah, but do you want to have like a specific like box for everything, kind of like we did in our other game? We can try. I just don't think we're like we can't. We can't build. We'll just have to build small storage chests and try and remember where everything goes. Yeah. That fucking works. David planted a tree in the middle of a fucking base. Is that what this is? You planted a tree I don't know in the how base. It's so funny, man. Like in all honesty, I'm gonna call you out on that. In all honesty, you gotta get more original, man. Like it's the same shit over and over and over. You make such a stink of it. It's too funny. <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit. I'm spending most of my days down on my mind. Don't give a shit. I'll find a way to plant trees down in the mine. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just you just lay a piece of soil down, but. Actually, you might not... I don't know if it'll grow without sunlight. And I mean, you say it's the same shit over and over again, but like, you know, 
Adam Sandler does the same shit over and over again, yet he still makes movies. Do you actually go through the entire video when you edit them? Um, I throw the entire video into an edit into an editing program, and I'll go through it in chunks. Like if it's a lot of video footage, because I only need like maybe 20, 30 minutes to make an episode. So I'll go through right. like I'll go through the first little bit, get enough for an episode. I'll find a point where I feel it's appropriate to end the episode, and then I'll continue on with the next one. I don't do it all at once. That would just be too much to go through. But I just break it up into chunks, and then once I'm done with the uh, chunk that I needed, and the episode's up on YouTube, I just slice off that chunk and just continue on with the uh, footage I haven't used yet. A lot of stuff gets oh, cut okay. out, though. Like, our last episode where uh, Rita had gone to bed, and it was uh, you, David, and me, and we were all kind of tired and just kind of working on the base before Horde Night. That one, I think I cut out, like probably two-thirds of the footage because it was really repetitive and just building and we were so tired we weren't even really talking to each other much so a lot of it i just cut out I like the editing program that i have the only complaint i have about it is it crashes a lot like it's really simple to use and i like it but it crashes like numerous times so you have to like you have to like mash the save button. Like every time you do one little change, you have to hit the save button. Otherwise, you risk losing a bunch of work. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really annoying. Oh, I had three duct tape over here. I'm gonna too. say though, back to Adam Sandler. As much as I appreciate his like older work, it is so repetitive and it is so old that I don't watch him anymore. I really don't. Yeah, I checked out some of his movies on Netflix, like Ridiculous Six. Um, yeah, Ridiculous Six, uh, the Switch Up or whatever, the one he did with David Spade, where he like stole David Spade's identity or something. And yeah, it, not not really that good. He's not as good as I remember him being. Because I I loved Adam Sandler's movies when I was growing up. I always got excited when a uh, when a new Adam Sandler movie came out. Okay, Fucking Billy Madison. I still haven't watched that one. I gotta watch that it's one. It's so good. I, I th think I I think I am saving it just because I want to be like, oh, it's a good movie when I've seen, like, no good movies from him lately. Yeah. It's... I, I liked it. I used to rent that one a lot, actually. I think it's on Netflix. Yeah. Um... Billy Madison was good. Happy Gilmore was good. Mr. Deeds, Fifty First Dates. Oh yeah, Happy Gilmore was good. Yeah. Did you see Fifty First Dates? Oh yeah, Dan Aykroyd's in that one. Small moral. Is he? Yeah, he's the doctor. So he's like, this is Tom, Ten Second Tom. That's oh Dan yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. Sorry, Rita, I lied. Oh, I'm fuck, not... there's a witch right in front of me. And I was like, I had my head in the... Oh, you mean a screamer? And yeah, I just screamer. You're thinking something some, like, spawn. left for dead yeah. shit there. Sorry, what was that, Rita? I just witnessed Oh, spawn. she's dead. Oh, yeah, fuck, but... she still managed to scream, though. Yep. I witnessed them, like, Here, chicken, room. chicken, chicken. She won't stop screaming. Jared, are you spawning chickens? Rita, I lied to you. I said I was bringing you shit flowers. I had to leave them behind. I'm sorry. Why would you leave the shit behind? Because I don't have any room for it. What can be more important than shit? Uh, nitrate powder. A lot of things, actually. Nitrate powder, guns, duct tape. I think even the sham sandwich uh, is a little higher on the pecking order. Mm.